back down on the allotment uh, first time for quite a while uh, it's Saturday the 20th of January 2018 gonna be a quick video uh, a little bit out of breath at the moment been doing some lugging around uh, but yeah it's gonna be a quick video just gonna give you a quick walk around uh, I've decided to make a lot of changes this year um, basically based on the fact that over the last few years we've not had a lot of spare cash which meant that we couldn't get a lot of the things that we wanted to get down to the allotment the soil here is pretty infertile in a lot of places and uh, I don't know whether it was the weather last year or whether it was the soil last year but absolutely nothing really did well the only thing that did do well as far as I'm concerned was the Jerusalem artichokes which are still in the ground I've not had a chance to get down to dig any of those up down here today but I've got to shoot off soon anyway so as I say just going to be a quick walk around and uh, let you know what I'm going to do so let's uh, turn you around right what I've got in the shed got uh, some wood here I'm going to get some more wood I just didn't want to get too much wood I'll tell you what I'm going to do with those in a minute I've got some debris netting around the back and I've also got a bag at the back there which has got some uh, premium grade uh, weed suppressant in so I'll just close that up oh, right get into the polytunnel first I can open the door that's the one right okay last year in here we got uh, some strawberry uh, not strawberries some tomatoes uh, down this bed I uh, didn't get a chance to get down here as often as I would have liked uh, which meant that a lot of these uh, tomatoes went to waste in this side of the bed we had some chilies uh, we got a few chilies off them however we were also um, inundated with the, either black fly or white fly uh, which uh, didn't do them very well at all uh, what I'm going to do this year is I've got some uh, compost in this soil from last year I'm going to dig a load of this, this out uh, put it onto the onto the plot and I'm going to put some more new stuff in here uh, so and then shoot, think about what I'm going to plant in here this year okay so that's the polytunnel as I say it's going to be a quick walk around today as usual the rain has stopped play right these two beds here uh, are going to be brought into use this year what I've done is I've been doing a lot of work in the back garden at home which I'll put a video up at some time to show what, I, what I'm doing there uh, but this is a load of soil that was in the uh, back garden a lot of uh, chicken manure in this because uh, it was an area where the chickens were foraging around and doing their business so that there I'm going to be spreading out uh, probably in these beds uh, to build them up uh, that area is covered we had the sweet corn last year they started off well and then did absolutely nothing uh, later on uh, I've got a feeling that what may have been the problem last year was the cut the soil was too cold it does get waterlogged there hence the trench at the back of it uh, as I say Jerusalem artichokes I could take some of those up but I need to shoot off we do have a couple of cabbages which were covered uh, so we could uh, get one or two, two of them and same over here we've got some sprouts well some of them are blown but there are quite a few that are still usable so maybe not as big a disaster as I thought was going to be on the sprouts but again let's see what we can do here right I told you we're going to uh, change things around this year okay what I did last year is I took a lot of the current bushes as of here especially the red currants because we don't really like the red currants so what we did here is we put the left the black currants we've got the daffodils starting to come up uh, got a blueberry bush here which is, is which is in acrocious soil or adacocious uh, and basically what I'm going to do with this area is uh, just keep this weeded and just use that for those little fruit bushes this side here is the strawberry bed now what I'm going to be doing with the strawberry bed this year and I've just remembered I forgot to bring something down uh, is all these strawberries are going to come out of here I'm going to cover this bed with weed suppressants and I've got a few of these which were from a previous uh, employer 
who uh, kindly donated them to a show that we did a while ago. Uh, and they're going to go into this bed with soil and compost in and the strawberries are going to go into them and maybe plant some other stuff around them. This area here, um, which is Mrs H's bed, we're going to work on this bed again this year and uh, basically they're the beds that you already know. Now the changes I'm going to make, uh, because I had problems getting down here last year, I've uh, decided that uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to build frames around these beds. Uh, that bed, that bed, that bed, that bed, that bed and that bed. Also that bed, that bed and we'll see about these two beds at some other time. But we're going to, sorry for spinning around so fast. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to build a frame uh, and we're going to put the, the yellow hooping that's on there, we're going to put that right the way down the beds, that's why I've got the debris netting, uh, put the debris netting over it and put weights on it so it doesn't blow up in the wind. Because one of the problems we had last year is when it got a gust of wind, the wind, the debris netting would blow up over and stuff would get into the beds. So we're going to basically cover every single bed uh, with tunnelling uh, so that if we don't manage to get down here uh, as often as we'd like to, then at least we know that it's going to be as safe as possible from the birds and everything else that likes to um, a certain amount that you can use on it for videoing and I'm just doing it on my phone. Yeah, so as I was saying, we're going to cover every single bed uh, this year. Uh, we're going to frame it all off and uh, it should protect it for the times we can't get down here uh, to basically stop all the bears and everything else that likes to take the food that we're growing uh, off here. As I say, last year was a total joke. Uh, it was just money just thrown down the drain as far as I'm concerned. However, I'm not disillusioned because they're the things that do happen. Uh, also, what I've actually invested in is a petrol strimmer. Uh, we want to keep these uh, pads as uh, tidy as possible, especially up the sides of the beds. Uh, quite a pain when you come in and you're having to rip, out, rip down all the weeds that are growing up the sides of the beds. Uh, so yeah, petrol streaming in that. So we're going to be making use of, uh, if possible, every single one of these beds this year. Uh, what we did last year, just uh, for the short term thing, is we pushed these uh, hoops into the ground. Some of them, as you can may be able to see here at the bottom, have actually got uh, broom poles in. Uh, which has actually kept them fairly uh, strong. But what we're going to do is we're going to use the wood that's in the shed, we're going to build up and then we're going to basically screw some poles, to, brush poles to the uh, that wood and then we're going to put this uh, over the top. Uh, we'll have um, We'll have wood down the middle to support the top and then basically wood at the sides of the debris net and to stop it from blowing up, keep the weight on it. Uh, so, yeah, pretty quick video. Uh, I've got nothing planted at home at the moment. I've got a big table in my lean-to at home which I want to use in the back as a pot and bench. Uh, but before I do that I need to make some changes out in the back. Uh, as I said, I might put a little bit of a video on the end of this to explain what it is that I'm looking at doing. Okay, if I don't do it though, uh, I'll be back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Okay guys, uh, yeah, a little bit of bonus uh, footage for you. Uh, as I said, uh, I said that we're doing some stuff uh, back at the house. There's Dexter and Missy. And the other noise you can hear in the back kitchen is a shih tzu, or a shithead as I like to call him. Uh, but he wants to get out of his cage and come and play. Right, anyway, getting back. Quiet! Dex, move! Uh, getting back to what we were going to talk about. Uh, basically, what we're doing is, this area here uh, has been used for the chickens, uh, like an open run, for quite a while. Uh, however, over the last few months we've had a problem with a fox getting over and the chickens that we had uh, all got killed. Uh, so we managed to pick up a couple of uh, chickens a few, about two weeks ago. There's three of them in there, They're exactly the same colours as the ones that we had before. 
Uh, but my granddaughters don't seem to realise that they're not the same chickens. Uh, so basically what we decided to do is we have a, an issue with this area. My wife wants to come out and use this area of the garden. However, because the dogs only have this little area here, when they come out in the morning they do their droppings and what have you. And so that puts my wife off wanting to come out. She doesn't want to be climbing through it. So what I've decided I'm going to do is that area there is actually going to be used for the dogs. Uh, to go and do this business, which means that I have to. Dex, quiet! I have to uh, basically take this fencing away from here and redirect the fencing. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a bit. So, that area there, I've taken the flags up from this area, and the flags are going to go down in that area there. Uh, that's uh, an old chicken run that we had, which is going to get. Um, I might take it down to the allotments or I might just uh, scrap it. Uh, we have uh, these pallets here, we've got some more at the allotments which I'm going to bring down and basically what we're going to do is we're going to redirect this fence so this gate that's here at the moment will actually open in this sort of direction and it will go towards the house. We'll then put the fence Let's get back out of here. Uh, we will then run the fence from along here. Uh, I'll tell you what those uh, that racking's for in a minute, uh, and it's going to come along here. So <laughs> it's quite difficult to show you. Uh, come along here, which is coming to the garage space at the back. Uh, what we're going to do is basically this will allow the dogs to go around this area and out into that area there. It will then keep this area here uh, clear so that uh, we can come out because there will be a gate across here. Uh, uh, the uh, gate here which will allow us to come out into that part of the garden. Uh, so this is where all the soil came from over that side. I'm going to be taking some more soil out of there and uh, I might leave the sand and just uh, flag on top of the sand, I don't know yet. So, in here we used to have ferrets, uh, the last of the ferrets died a few months ago. So this area here, all of this area in here is all going to get ripped out. And the racking is going to go in here so we can actually store things better out here. Anyway, Dexter's been as good as So uh, I'm going to go in and show you the other side. Alright, and this one here is uh, Charlie. He's got a bit of a skin problem at the moment, uh, so we're keeping him in. Uh, he's uh, bathing with sh special shampoo twice a day, and he's got tablets as well. Uh, this is another wave and stray that we picked up off my oldest daughter. Yeah, that was just a little bit of uh, bonus uh, footage. Uh, as I say, it's been raining. I've come home absolutely filthy, so I'm going to have a quick brew and I'm going to jump in the shower and just chill out for the rest of the day. I uh, hope everybody is doing well on their allotments. And uh, I know this is pretty dark, uh, unfortunately, can't help that. Uh, so, as I say, uh, keep gardening and I'll uh, see you soon. Bye.